before we get started, let's check out the links in my description. We all want nice things. We want the car, we want a house, we want a high limit credit card. But if you don't have at least a 680 credit score, you're not even in the game. So click this link here to know where you stand and get your free credit scores from all three bureaus. That will be Experian, TransUnion, and Equifax. And also get your reports. If you would like to be free and become financially independent through entrepreneurship, click this link here to be free. If you'd like to get cash back, which is a discount during shopping, please click this link here to see my favorite cash back sites. And if you enjoy the music you hear in the background, please click the link here and subscribe to It's Oasi. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Community Wealth. Today is not gonna be a long video, it's gonna be fairly short. I just want to let you know that I did actually get an update from Navy Federal in my email. I got it. Well, I recognize I have received the email after I did the uh, Navy Federal response video to my credit limit request inquiry, all right? And so, as you already know, if you already um, saw the update video, about Navy Federal approving my credit limit increase, then you know how much it is and everything. But if you haven't, I'm going to let you know within the email. So for you guys who know what happened already, you already know, and I'm just gonna elaborate a little more about the process and everything like that. But for you guys who don't know, you're gonna get the elaboration, plus you're gonna see what their decision was with my credit limit increase, okay? But before we get into that, you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports with all three of the bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. Click the credit monitoring link in the description below. We want to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week utilizing your vehicle and on your own time. Click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. Well, if you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your vehicle, you can click the Wealth Hire Car link in the description below, and that way you can hire a car and use that to then Wealth Dash and still make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your own time. You'd like to know how I got five properties for $5,500? Click the Be Free link in the description below. And with this being the holiday season, this is the shopping season. It's going into Cyber Week right now. Black Friday just passed. But I'm pretty sure you can still get a lot of cash back. You can get cash back all year long. And you can do that by clicking the cash back link in the description below. So let's go ahead and get into the conversation. This past Monday was November 22nd to be exact. I put in a credit limit increase request with Navy Federal. I requested $25,000 to be my new credit line. All right, I was at 3,000. I started out with 1,000 at first when I first got my Navy Federal Cash Reward credit card, which is a very good credit card, by the way. I only started with 1,000. There are many people that started with way more than me. Many people. Three of them, which I know personally, that I actually you know, told about Navy Federal. Actually, one person she already knew about it, but she had tried to get in before she never got in. But I told her the way to get in, and she actually went on ahead. And, she went on ahead and got in. She's the first person I know personally who ended up with a very high limit credit card around twenty thousand dollars. That's with Navy Federal. Actually, the first person I knew, period, in my life that had a twenty thousand dollar credit card. All right, and then I got my son in. I got him in under me and added him, added him as an authorized user on my cash reward card that only had $1,000 at the time. No, it had $1,500 when I added him on. So when I added him on, I, had, I got an increase of $500 August of 2020. 
They gave me an increase of five hundred dollars. They weren't giving people a lot of increases then, or not high ones at that time, because that was around the time when the pandemic said was like being real stingy with the increases. So they gave me a five hundred dollar increase, so I was up to fifteen hundred dollars, and so I added my son onto my card, and maybe not even ninety days. It's usually about ninety days, three months, but not even ninety days. But I guess because he had a two year, um, he had a two year history of excellent credit with my credit card on his credit report now. So when I added him on, he was already over the 700s. I think he was like at 735 or 740, something like that, his credit score. So that boosted him right away. So maybe not even 90 days, maybe two months, two and a half months, he applied for a cash reward credit card and boom, right at the gate, they gave him what over $20,000. And on his first credit card, his very first credit card, he got over $20,000, all right? So then, not too long after that, I added my lady friend onto my credit card as an authorized user. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, I just got a sale on eBay. I don't know if you heard that cha-ching in the background, but yeah, that was my phone going off. That was another sale on eBay. Okay. So I added my lady friend on my card, and that boosted her because she already had several credit cards. She had the Amex, and she added me to her Amex. Right. There. I added her to my Navy Federal. She added me to her Amex, and so. She already had several years of credit history, but here's another credit card on her credit report with 1500 bucks, And it gave her another two years of, you know, excellent credit history. So maybe a few months after that, she applied for her first Navy Federal credit card. Boom. She got over $15,000. And then not too long after that, they gave her another 4000 So, you know, she's over $20,000 now. You know, on her credit card, her first Navy Federal credit card. So right after that, I went and applied for another credit limit increase back on May 16th. And they doubled my credit limit. So now I was at $3,000 on May 16th. Okay. I'm just giving you all the backstory, the back history, right? But during this time, I also rented a car. I rented several cars and went to several hotels. I had, uh, but I rented a car this particular time. I rented a car. We went out to, uh, we went out to, I'm not gonna say, uh, we went out to Indiana, all right? We went out to Indiana, and that was around the time we were doing, we were registering for a, 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 a real estate auction, a tax lien real estate auction. We were registering, and that's again, you wanna know how I got five properties for $5,500. You know, that's how I'll click the be free link in the description below. But we went and registered for the tax lien auction in Indiana, and on the way back, you know, we got into a little incident on the road and I had to swerve off the road and some damage happened to the rental vehicle. You know, so then when I got back to Florida, when I got back to Florida, I returned the car. And they was like, well, we told you to take the insurance, you know, their LDW insurance on there for them, which is, I think it was like 20 something dollars a day. I we had the car for like three, four days, but you know, I had it for a week, I had it for a week. So it was like 20 something bucks a day. But I declined it because I know with the cash rewards credit card, it says if you want to u utilize the rental coverage, the auto rental coverage on the credit card to decline the rental company's insurance. So I declined enterprise insurance and used the insurance on the credit card. So all I had to do was give them the information for the credit card. And uh, I had to do a $300 deductible right so I do a $300 deductible and a few months later maybe like a month or two later I gave them all the information to, to the credit card company it's a website and everything just got uh, just called a number they hook you up with all that stuff so I submitted all the paperwork to the uh, to the credit card insurance company and next thing you know they reimbursed my $300 deductible and they paid for the full damage of the car. Everything. I didn't have to come out of a pocket for nine. Now, I initially came out of 300 bucks, but then I ended up, you know, with the $300 back. Plus, they paid the full amount of the car rental. Now, that's that. Fast forward to today, well, not fast forward to November 22nd, I then applied for the credit limit increase for $25,000. All right. So I'm trying to go from three thousand to twenty-five thousand dollars. All right, and so here's the email that I received from them. 
Now, I'm going to read this in a second. But I checked all of I checked my credit card statement well, online. I checked the credit card online and then I saw that it was a weird number. I couldn't really factor what it was, but I knew it had to be between six and nine six and ten thousand dollars. I knew it had to be six between six and ten. But I was looking for twenty five, but you know, I was okay with it because I know anything over five thousand dollars I get a signature visa. I explained it to you before. That's a signature visa. Signature just basically means the credit card is five thousand dollars and above. So whenever somebody say I have a signature card, that means that they have a credit limit of five thousand dollars and above. All right, so that's the signature. Same thing with World Mastercard. Anything that's World Mastercard, that's five thousand dollars and above. All right. So now, here's the email. We approved a change to your credit limit on your account ending in. Of course, those are the numbers. Your new limit of $9,000 is effective immediately. If you requested a credit limit increase and were only approved for part of it, you'll receive a letter in 7 to 10 days explaining the decision. All right? So that's Navy Federal. So they gave me a credit limit of $9,000. So I was expecting double, which would, be, which would have been about $6,000. I was hoping for twenty five thousand, all right, or at least somewhere in that range of, you know, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty thousand, twenty five thousand. So I was hoping to get around twenty five thousand, but I would have been okay with five thousand to six thousand. The six thousand been doubled, but they actually tripled my credit limit. Right, they tripled it, which is still less than what I wanted. But it's more than actually what I expected. So I'm okay with that. So I went from 1,000 to 9,000. So now I'm at nine times where I initially started at, which is actually the highest credit limit I ever had on a credit card. That's the highest I ever had. I think before then, the highest I ever had on a credit card was maybe 2,000 or maybe 2,500 max, I believe. I want to say 2,500, I can't recall. But I believe the highest I ever had was maybe 2,000, 2,500. Until the 3,000. So then I ended up with 3,000. That was my highest. But now my highest is 9,000. So it can only go from there. Also, with this being the case, I can now apply and be sure to usually get anything higher than $5,000. Because now I have a record on my credit report as me personally having a credit limit of five thousand dollars and above just before this the card that I'm an authorized user on the Amex card is actually a it has a five thousand dollar limit now it was only a two thousand limit but now it's a five thousand dollar limit but now I have my own card that's even above that so it's my personal card that's above that so now it's even looked at even better of course they'll say hey there's an authorized user account but he he's on there and that's a high limit but now I personally have a high limit credit card that I'm taking care of and I'm keeping it a good utilization I'm paying on time and it has the uh, it has a history of well over three years now so now that's my personal thing so now any card that I apply for now they're gonna look at my credit report and say oh he's maintaining credit limits of above five thousand dollars on top of i have an auto loan of of, of up to forty thousand dollars and i have a real estate loan that i'm managing that has seventeen thousand dollars on it above seven it's about seventeen thousand so now i have all these different credit lines that i'm maintaining and it's making my profile look great all right and even every time you get a credit limit increase in your credit report it boosts it, it boosts your score so now this is my third credit limit increase this year within a couple of months because last month I had a five thousand or well, three thousand dollar increase to five thousand on an Amex. This pack well actually I had two. So that was the five thousand dollars. And then remember I did a video where I talked about the uh the, the first premier card they gave me a two hundred dollar increase which is not a lot but it went from seven hundred to nine hundred so that was two credit limit increases but now here go one that's triple 
All right, so now I'm going for 3,000 to 9,000. All right, so that's in two months, I got three credit limit increases. So now that qualifies me to get higher limit credit cards, which is what you want. All right, it's what you want. You can get it with authorized user, but imagine if you had these credit limits with your own personal credit cards. So now when I go apply for this more rewards Amex with Navy Federal, it's a good chance that I'm going to get anything above 10,000. It's a great chance going to get anywhere between ten to twenty-five thousand. I'm looking for that twenty-five thousand mark. If they gave me fifteen to twenty thousand, I'm okay with that. But I'm really looking for that twenty-five thousand because once I'm in that twenty-five thousand range, now when I start building around that, they're going to look at my credit profile and say, "Oh, he has a nine thousand dollar credit card. He has a twenty-five thousand dollar credit card. He has a seventeen thousand dollar real estate loan. He has a forty thousand dollar auto loan. He has a five thousand dollar Amex card." All right. So now I got a $25,000 Amex and a $5,000 Amex. All right. And then I have a $9,000 Visa signature. And in six months, I'm going to go for that. I'm going to try to still get that $25,000 because the next six months. So what's this? November, December, January, February. So around March. November, December, January, February, March, April. Oh, so around May, I'm sorry. So around May. So around May again next year. So around this time, May again next year, around May 25th. Now, May 25th. I even go to May 26th. So May 26th, because you want to give it a few days after that six-month anniversary. So around May 26th, 7th, somewhere in there, I can go ahead and I can apply for another credit limit increase for now my cash rewards signature card and try to get that 25,000 on there. So now I'll have the 25,000 there and hopefully I get another 25,000 Well, the first 25,000 hopefully going to be on that more rewards card. Okay. And then I'll then go for maybe the flagship card. I may even do it at the same time I apply for the more rewards. It's either flagship or possibly another cash rewards because if I get another cash rewards card it'll be the world card now the world master card so it'll be that I might even do the gold rewards card I gotta figure out which card I'm gonna go for but I have several cards to go for with Navy Federal I have two more to get so I'm gonna go for the more rewards next which is the Amex and probably either the flagship which is their highest tier card either the flagship or I might go for the uh, gold rewards or another cash rewards card only reason why I'm thinking about that flagship because the flagship is $49 annual fee. Okay, that's what it is. $49 annual fee. And I don't know if I want an annual fee card right now. I already got I'm already paying an annual fee with this uh with this first premier card, which is my credit card that actually got me to where I'm at now. Alright. But anyway, so again, $9,000 approval. And they can only go from there. Just add to my profile. Makes your profile looks even better because now I have a five thousand dollar card, a nine thousand dollar card. Uh, uh, one is an American Express five thousand, which I'm an authorized user on. Then I have my own signature card from ca a cash reward signature card from Navy Federal, but nine thousand dollars on it. Then three credit limit increases within two month period. Then I got the uh, the the auto loan. Of well, over to forty thousand. Then I have the real estate loan about seventeen thousand. Okay, so building your profile up, and once I hit that seven hundred score, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. So I'm at six six eighty five now with Experian, as you all know if you watch my videos. I'm at a six eighty with uh, Equifax, and I'm at a six eighty one, I believe, or six eighty three. See, six eighty one and six eighty three with TransUnion. Okay. So that's where we at now. 700 is the next step. That's where I'm gonna go for the more rewards, Amex with Navy Federal, and possibly the flagship or another cash rewards or a or or, or the Go Rewards card. But those cards are gonna give me that 25,000 I want each. So just imagine if I had three cards at 25,000 a piece. Imagine that three cards. That's 75,000 dollars in lines of credit. Imagine what I could do with business credit if I could do that. So I want to eventually transfer over to business credit, which I'm going to do the videos about that when I start transfer trans uh, transitioning into that with business credit. All right. But hope you got some information out this video. 
Thanks for watching. If you would like to know your FICO scores and what's on your reports from all three bureaus, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, click the credit monitoring link in the description below. If you would like to make $500 to $1,000 plus per week utilizing your vehicle on your own time, click the Wealth Dasher link in the description below. If you don't have a vehicle or you don't want to use your own vehicle, then click the Wealth Hire Car link in the description below. And that way you can hire a car and use that vehicle to then Wealth Dash and make $500 to $1,000 plus per week on your own time. If you want to know how I got five properties for $5,500, click the Be Free link in the description below. And if you'd like to get cash back while shopping online, click the Cash Back link in the description below. Like, share the video, comment below, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to It's Oasis, and until the next video, Let's get this money.